Hi everyone, my name is Gary. And I'm Steve. Thanks for stopping by and watching our video today. Today we're going to talk about something called clean boot mode. Uh, have you ever been in the situation where you're trying to install a program and you hit next and you're going through the little wizard and you get an error message and the whole thing just shuts down. No good at all. And you try it again and the same thing happens. Chances are there's probably some program that's loading when your computer loads that's running interference on you and it's, uh, it's screwing you up. Right, and uh, you know, a lot of times is, is the number one thing that I tell people, and I, I get a lot of people because I'm tech support. When people call me and they ask me about problems with the program, the, the first thing I say is, have you started your computer in clean boot mode? This is going to allow us to eliminate any kind of interference from another program and let Windows run all by itself without anything else there, and that way we can try to install it without, uh, without any issues. In addition to program installation, this is also good for doing a little bit of uh, rough diagnostics. Let's say you're getting random error messages or lockups and you're just not sure where they're coming from. Is it a Windows problem? Or maybe is it coming from one of those programs that loads at startup? It's hard to say. If you go into clean boot mode, you're running Windows the way Nature and Microsoft intended. There's no extra programs, there's no third-party apps running there. It's just pure and simple Windows. And if you're still getting error messages, well, you know there's a Windows problem. If you're not, then it must be one of those programs that's loading at startup. So the first thing we're going to want to do is take a look at how to boot into uh, clean boot mode. Let's take a look. Okay, the first thing we're going to want to do here to get into clean boot mode is uh, here we're going to go to start and on Windows 7 and Windows Vista, we're actually going to type right here into the search box. We're going to type in M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G and hit enter. On Windows XP, there's uh, you'd go to start and click on run and type in msconfig, and you'll get a box that looks very, very similar to this. Um, as you can see, this Windows 7 computer is set up to run in normal startup mode. To start in clean boot mode, we're going to put it on selective startup, and then we're going to go to a couple of these tabs. First thing we're going to go we're going to do is go to the services tab and you can see all of these services here that are set up to run when the computer starts. We're going to disable all of them except for the ones that are provided by Microsoft. That allows us to let the computer start in a way without with Microsoft running normally but everything else stopped. So the way to do that is to check the box here that says hide all Microsoft services so it'll only show us the other ones and then hit the disable all button which will disable everything but the Microsoft ones. You can see if I re uncheck this box we have the Microsoft ones that still remain checked here. The next thing we're going to do is go to the startup tab. And this tab here controls every single program that starts up when your computer starts. For, this, for, for these ones here we're going to disable all of them and uh, then we'll go ahead and hit, uh, hit OK. That's really all there is to it here in the system configuration. The next step is to restart the computer. So I'm going to restart the computer here now, and uh, we'll be back in just a second after the computer's restarted. Okay, we're back. Um, now the computer has restarted, and we are in clean boot mode. I know it doesn't look a whole lot different. Um, that's, that's kind of the point. Uh, what we've done here is now the computer's in clean boot mode. It's eliminated all other background running programs, but Windows itself was left unchanged. You can, the, the, you know, Windows itself started up normally with all of its normal services. So, you know, when you're in clean boot mode, like we mentioned before, it allows you to do some things maybe you couldn't do before, like try to install a program that was causing you trouble, or uh, you know, any kind of troubleshooting like that. Um, additionally, you'll notice that down here in the corner, there's uh, there's less icons that are down here. That's because some of them have been disabled for startup while we're in clean boot mode. So uh, the last step here after you're finished with everything in clean boot mode is to put it back to normal mode. To do that we're going to go to start again and we're going to type in msconfig and hit enter. It'll open up the system configuration tool just like it did before and this one's pretty easy. We're just going to set this to normal and hit OK. That's all there is to it. Once you hit OK there, restart the computer again once it comes back up, you'll be back in normal mode and everything will be running normally. That's all there is to it. Okay, so that's about it. Now you know how to boot into clean boot mode. So if you're having problems installing a program or you maybe need to do a little bit of diagnostic like we talked before, this is, uh, this is something you definitely want to try, especially before calling tech support. You might save yourself a phone call. Also, keep in mind that this is not the same as safe mode. With safe mode, you are taking everything out of the equation. Even a lot of the Windows services are not going to load up. You're going to have the bare minimum with safe mode. This is still going to have regular, this is still going to be regular Windows when you load it. And that's the, and that's the power of it. 
And we want to just, uh, as always, thank you for stopping by and watching our video today. Um, if you are watching this on YouTube, you should uh, feel free to stop by www.worldstart.com, where we have a, a great computer tips newsletter. It goes out every day. You can sign up for it right there on our homepage. Also, if you have any questions for us, uh, stop by www.worldstart.com slash ask and, uh, answer, and uh, go ahead and ask your question there. We'll be happy to answer them for you. Uh, that's about all we have today, so uh, have a good one. Thanks.